Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimczewski with Adam Atkinson in our final installment in the Winning Your Final Show, the contest series, which is going to be mindset, that, that competitive X factor, if you will. And, and I've got so many examples of this, Adam. We, we already talked about a client of mine who you know, has, has come in second a couple of times this year. She's really wanting to win. And so you could just see that fire in her belly. I have kind of an opposite scenario where I have a client who competed for the very first time and he happened to win three divisions, overalls and a pro card in his very first show. And this was a bucket list kind of thing. So he was like, I'm just going to compete once, see what it's like and be done. But of course, guess what winning like that did? And now he's like, okay, coach, I got three more this year I want to do. And now he's like, now I want to win everything. Like, like tasting that, that victory was amazing. But uh, I think as we get toward the end of the year, people do get more excited about these last shows. They know it's their last shot of the year before they go into off season. A lot of people contemplate it very heavily and, and actually at a show because they just can't end the season on, on a note that they, they didn't want. So, um, so how do you kind of prepare your whole team? What's, what's everybody's mindset going into these final shows? I see lots of different mindsets where people signed up for it and they feel like they have to do it and they don't want to. Mm. I, I had two people. I just said, just because you paid for it doesn't mean you need to waste the whole weekend. And this is somebody who works nine to five, you know, five days a week. I'm like, do you really want to spend your time at a bodybuilding show that you're not that excited about? And we can start reversing, enjoying some time off and grow because um, Frankly, her show was one week later, so we weren't going to change a lot. And, and I think that that makes a big difference. So it really depends on the person. But I do have people like that. They win the overall. They want to go to nationals right away. Um, or they just want to see if they can do it again. You know, sometimes people just don't believe that they were that good. And they're like, can this happen again? Uh, so... I really recommend to people, you know, follow your heart. If you're really wanting to do another show, you really need to listen to your body and see if you have that drive and determination left to do it. Um, if you're feeling like you're just going to walk into the other show, not really wanting to improve, I would just recommend you kind of send yourself up for disappointment. Somebody out of the blue could come in and beat you, um, or you just end up just being very ho-hum about your physique because it's so similar to last show. So there's no reason to put yourself through that. That is such a good point. I mean, you, you pulled me completely off the track that I thought I was going to go down for this episode, but, but you're right. I actually had a client who we had that conversation with uh, just in the last couple of weeks. And it's a, yes, you could compete, but you're already kind of showing signs of your body's just kind of done and we're not really making that much more progress. We don't have that much time to, to increase food, to climb out of that particular, you know, homeostasis. But, you, you know, yeah, we could compete. What if you don't win? Would you then feel like you just wasted that month of the off season? And, and it is a tough decision for a lot of people. So I, I think it's one that needs to be weighed very heavily. And, you know, I, we had a conversation, um, at least in my, my daily live chat with coaches and clients and a couple of people, you know, have made the the statement that in some of these big national shows, especially at the end of the year, you know, it should really be seen as almost the final four of the NCAA tournament. It's like, like the best of the best vying for those final wins. Um, you know, and it, it would kind of add a little bit more excitement to the sport. Absolutely. I think too, I've seen competitors win an overall, do another show and not win the overall. So it's sometimes nice to kind of, leave on a high note, you know, for the season and uh, use that training and determination to bring yourself to another level of the next year. Yeah. And, you know, pulling us back on the original track that I was on, just, just for those who are committed to a show, you know, this, this, as we have said, this entire series is your shot, you know, before you have a great, enjoyable, productive off season, this is your shot to give it all you've got, leave it all on the field, pick any axiom you want. But this is the point to really leave no stone unturned, you know, get, getting, you know, just, just don't lose that, 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 that battle mindset of, of going in and making sure that you're going to do everything you can. And, and it makes me think of pumping iron, the original, like, you know, 1970s movie where people like Arnold would, would almost play some mind games and so forth and try and psych people out. Cause like, I'm going to win this show. I'm going to do everything I can. 
And, and it really does take that level of competitiveness, I think, to go in and, and literally take it from other people. You have to beat everybody else. Yeah, leave it all on the table if you're going in for your final home stretch, you know? Yep. All right, Adam. Well, thanks again, as always, for uh, participating and bringing up some great topics and, and just always great, great stories and anecdotes about your own coaching and clients. Uh, everybody watching and listening, we appreciate you so much. Please keep sending us ideas as well for a series and, and things that, that you don't want to hear from. And uh, we will see you next time in Contest Prep University.